in diabetes which is a chronic uh, disorder which is present lifelong one cannot keep doing sugars say 50 times a day you know all throughout life and that is why this particular test was devised that is called hba1c which is essentially an average of sugars done over the past 2 to 3 months and it has been believed that if you are able to keep this hba1c within a particular limit the chances of developing complications due to long standing diabetes significantly go down and the figure that has been arrived at is roughly 7% now this 7% uh generally corresponds to a blood sugar below which complications are very less likely to develop and that is why this hba1c of 7% has been uh developed and propagated all through the world there are certain misconceptions about this hba1c people think that a hba1c of 7 which people advocate means that sugars are going to be completely normal it doesn't mean that what it means is that an average of say many sugars taken multiple times of a day and taken for 2 to 3 months that is the average that you are looking at and keeping it below 7 certainly will help all complications like nerve disease eye disease kidney disease and to a certain extent cardiac disease as well so that's the importance of hba1c or glycosylated hemoglobin oh so the statement is yoga alone can cure diabetes well the real thing is that actually nothing can really cure diabetes but we are able to control it in a very good fashion and for that we have multiple things that we need to know about we have exercise we have dietary control and then we have medications as far as exercise is concerned there are different types of exercises so some of them are called aerobic exercises like running jumping climbing a hill cycling swimming etc where your heart rate jumps up to a particular level and is maintained like that for a considerable amount of time which causes a loss of calories loss of fat muscles become active they pull all the sugar from the blood vessels and the sugar is come down the second type of exercise is called strength training which you can work on machines in the gym and that is a slightly different importance in diabetes and the third one which you are talking about today is yoga the yoga is essentially a exercise in which your muscles are toned and they also become very flexible there are certain types of yoga which can also work like aerobic exercise because the heart rate goes up but understand that each of these modalities that is exercise diet and medications have their own role so just saying that yoga alone can cure your diabetes is not the entire truth it will certainly go a long way in you being able to control your diabetes but that doesn't mean that the sugars are going to the high blood sugars are going to disappear forever and you will not need anything else so that is a myth Having said that, I would encourage all of you to pursue all these three forms of exercises because they have different uh, benefits, and also diet, and also consider whether you require medications.